Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Pick your team number 10. Goes to Carlos. Carlos L. Mr. LT in the YouTube stream. Grabbed all 30 teams and pick your team number 10. So it turns out to be a personal case for him. So thank you. Good luck. And here we go. So as you saw from the previous video, you know that this is from the same master case because I marked it pick your team number 10. Appreciate you getting in on this action. All right. Good luck, sir. Here we go. Now he's a Yankees guy. He's looking for maybe this guy. Or that young guy, that young kid that, that hits bombs. The first inner case had a really, had, we, had, we pulled some really nice hits out of there, including a DECA Relic Auto Book, which Mr. LT was lucky enough to win. Now he's going to get everything out of here. Hopefully this case will make it worth his while. I, ho I certainly hope so. All right, there's Miggy out of 250. There's Pedro to 340. Reggie and Josh Donaldson on this side. Will Myers, Joe, Joey Votto, Reds MVP. Could be this year's MVP. Out of 36, got close. Could get close. John Carlos Stanton might win it in the NL. That's what it looks like, but very nice. Another DECA book. That, that would be nice. No stressful randomizer either, Mr. LT. One out of 10, Jesse Winker, the uh, Reds prospect that's coming up the ranks. Masahiro Tanaka, who had a nice start today. And, but, could not capitalize. Carlos Correa and the gang beating the Yankees 2-1. I'll see my boy Clayton Kershaw tomorrow. There's Hank Aaron. There's Donnie Baseball, and he reveals a Freddie Freeman, who was also on his way to, to an MVP caliber season until he got, got his hand broke. Broke his hand. No, you were stressing. I know. I'd be stressing too. Usually, we don't do majority rules here. And oftentimes, it really doesn't matter because nobody really has a majority in that situation. There's Chef and his bat, 14 out of 36. But uh, but usually, the odds you know, works itself out. You know what I mean? And I'm glad it did this time. <laughs> All right, next box. It's a decent start so far. Let's see what else we got here. All right, there's Cal Ripken Jr., 36 out of 50. Steven Strasburg, I'm actually kind of glad. Not that the Cubs are going to be any easier for my Dodgers, but, but man, Steven Strasburg, there's really no good matchup. Mike Trout, Freddie Freeman, Adam Jones reveals a trio of Astros, two out of 36, Craig Biggio, Jeff Bagwell, Jose Altuve. I mean, maybe they couldn't get a Lance Berkman relic, but I feel like you should put the rest of the killer bees on there, right? Behind Adam Jones is a uh, Kelvin Herrera. 17 out of 50, Jersey and Auto. I almost said Kevin Crimear. No, they are two different, completely different players.
There's Chris Davis out of 99. Adam Jones at 250. Got Chipper Jones, got Ichiro. And behind Zach Granke is Chris Sale. Nice. Three out of nine, Chris Sale. Nice looking one. And Zach Granke reveals a Trevor Story. 17 out of 27. All right, next box. So, Mr. LT, you said that you moved out here. When, when did you move out here to California? You said your wife was originally from California, right? It is a nice... Southern California is nice. Uh, it's a nice part of the world. Definitely a fan of the San Diego weather. Although you're a little inland. But you could pop over to Oceanside in no time. There's Ozzie Smith, the wizard at 340. Oh, a couple years ago. Nice. Ozzie Smith. There's Tulo to 99. Hunter Pence, Matt Carpenter. Dustin Pedroia reveals a Blake Snell, triple relic and autograph, 77 out of 99. Up and comer for the Rays. JD Martinez. What a great pickup for the Diamondbacks. 24 out of 36. Um, have you been to uh I'm gonna I'm gonna be that guy. Have you been to Pizza Port yet in Solana Beach? Man, love the Pizza Port. Out of 340, Honus Wagner. Beer Buddies and the pizza. Mm. 141 out of 150, Chipper Jones. Chip off the old block for the Braves. And be like, you should go here, go there. Gary Sanchez, Starling Marte. Javier Baez reveals the Mookie Betts. Hits and doubles. Yeah, that's what he does. 19, 9 out of 18. You've heard of it, but you've not been there. Um, if you if you are a fan of pizza, there's Juan Gonzalez, 95 out of 99, jersey and autograph. And are a fan of, of uh, local craft beers, I think you will enjoy that place. It's really nice. All right, first third of the case in the book, second third coming up. If you, if you like carbs, then then you will like that. It's a nice location. It's a, it's one of those old it's one of those old pizza places that that still see you at, at least last time I was there. Still see you at uh at, at like the picnic bench style kind of tables there. Pizza port. Pretty good stuff. Arcade games in the back for the kids. With uh, <laughs> with sticky controllers, cause kids are spilling soda on it. Like, I can't play golden tea under these conditions. Ryan Sandberg out of 150, but it's great. Good atmosphere. A lot of good people there. Really chill. Mike Trout. King Felix. Joey Votto. And wow, two out of nine, Cody Bellinger. There's my boy, Cody Bellinger. 
Definitely NL Rookie of the Year. And let's see what else he can do to make his mark on the playoffs. Had that one great game where he was uh, he made diving catches, clutch plays. Nice Cody. I haven't seen a lot of Cody Bellingers either. And there's Gary Sanchez, 21 out of 27. Do I see Dodgers just walking around the city? No. Um, although most of them live around this area, Redondo Beach. I live in Santa Monica. I don't think I ever really see them there. Um they they do most of the single guys live in um in Manhattan Beach. Five out of ninety nine hundred pence. So just uh just about fifteen, ten, fifteen minutes north of me. At a two fifty two low. Although I think Kershaw and his wife well I'm not sure. And they, they might have moved since they had they might might have moved since they had um kids. But I know Kershaw and his wife used to live out in Manhattan Beach before they got kids. Three out of nine, Justin Verlander, at least their their home, their in-season home. I think they live in Texas in the off-season. Uh, that's where they're from. But uh, I've heard st I've heard stories of uh, there's piece of the bat. Wilson Contreras has been playing well. Piece of the bat and his autograph. Thirty-three out of ninety-nine, Wilson Contreras. I've heard uh, people say sometimes like. You, see, you, you can catch Kershaw at like a Manhattan Beach bar having like dinner and a beer or something. People eventually run into him over there. But he's always pretty chill. He pretty much has that, just like a, a beer, and then he's like, goes home. <laughs> um, I don't know where some of the other guys live. I want to say Justin Turner probably. No, Justin Turner grew up in Orange County, so I'm sure he lives in like... He went to Fullerton, I think, or Cal State Long Beach for college or something like that. But he grew up around here. I think Justin Turner lives in Orange County. I don't. You know what? I don't know how many Dodgers actually live around here. I know a lot of Lakers live around in Manhattan Beach. And some Kings players, too. I know Nomar and his wife, Mia Hamm, used to live in Manhattan Beach for a long time. They might still live in Manhattan Beach. I don't know, but not, they're not super visible. I guess mostly because you're not really going to see them too often going out and about during the during the season here in L.A. And then so many of them live elsewhere in the country in the off season, so you really don't see them in the winter either. At a three forty, led me is Diaz. Donnie baseball. Yeah, well, I don't see. I don't know if Justin Turner week would have become the player that he became today if he stayed a Met. I think maybe he had to take that path to get to where he is today. All right, behind Francisco Lindor is Jose Altuve, Joe Buck's new favorite, nine out of twenty-seven. Hear him gush about Jose Altuve. And we've got Matt Carpenter. 20 out of 99, dude terrorizing, a Dodger terrorizer, <laughs> Matt Carpenter, Kershaw terrorizer. Freddie Freeman out of 250. Oh, Joe P, you've, you've hung out around the, the beach town areas here, although you probably went to Hermosa Beach. That's where all the crazy college kids are. There's the babe. 337 out of 340. Manhattan Beach is a little bit north of, of of Hermosa Beach. And that's where it's like a lot of like it's it's you know, everything's a lot more expensive there. A lot of fancy restaurants, hot moms. Another Blake Snell. Five out of seventy five. Hermosa Beach is a blast though. That's where all the college kids are. And behind Addison Russell is Aroldis Chapman. 8 out of 18. Nice relic for the Fireballer. Josh says, Joe, you bet your cousin that Judge or Stanton would win the AL MVP. He took the field. Well, it would be impossible for Stanton to win the AL MVP. You got him there. <laughs> you definitely got him there. Um... 
I don't know if I don't know if Aaron Judge is going to win the MVP. Well, Mr. LT, you're you're a you're a Yankees guy, right? Aaron Judge, I mean I mean MVP you know, rookie of the year for sure. You know, but MVP I'm not sure if the baseball writers will do that. Oh, you meant Gary Sanchez. Uh, no, just leave it. Yeah, yeah, because I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. No, Eric, Gary Sanchez will not. He's had a fine season. He's a good player, but he's not going to win the MVP. Wow, so Mr. LT says he'll gonna, he's going to get Rookie of the Year and MVP. I'm not sure. I guess who else would win it? <laughs> I'm not sure who else could win it, actually. There's the White Whale. It's one of your case hits, Mr. LT. All right, out of 340, Jacob deGrom. Forty six out of ninety nine, Mike Carpenter. Matt Carpenter, Mike Carpenter. Trout? Maybe. Trout's had a fine season too. I think maybe baseball writers sick are sick of voting for Trout. There's Miggy, eleven out of thirty six. Even though like it's like LeBron should probably win MVP every year, right? But he doesn't. You know. I mean I I think Trout's just at that kind of level. Macwa, what's going on? We're busting open this triple threads right here. I think this is it for the night, though. It's our last break of the night. We'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific, though. Juan Gon Gonzalez, Jersey Auto, 14 out of 25. We got Jose Bautista, the 340. Yeah, I mean, I've... Oh, you know what? People say, people are thinking Altuve. That's the other one. Josh York and everybody. Joe, Mr. LT. A lot of people, I think, a lot of people are saying, Jose Altuve probably has a good shot at the MVP award. Over Aaron Judge. Byron and Roger Clemens. There's Byron Buxton again. One out of 36 on this one. Piece of the bat. Mac. Triple threads right now, but this is the last break of the night. But we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, it'll probably be Altuve, but like, see, even even Joe P kind of forgot about Altuve. You know what I mean? He's like, oh yeah, that's right. And Marcus Stroman is your one of one. Nice. Marcus Stroman's got some talent. All right. Hey, you know what that means, Carlos. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. You got Rizzo back there. Awesome. Your final three boxes. You got the nice white whale. They got the nice one of one. There was a Cody Bellinger back there. Some other nice, solid bits of ink. I, I think we should be expecting another case hit, which should be a triple relic, triple auto. But let's see. Let's see what happens. So this is pick your team at number 10, folks, from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Mr. LT actually picked up all the teams. So I appreciate that. Um, how much are each inner case? They're like, it's like a million dollars. It's like they're like a million dollars, but I'll, I can give it to you for a couple thousand. That's a, that's a deal just for you, Josh York. 247 out of 340, Greg Maddox. Granky, 74 out of 150 for the Diamondbacks. King Kenta, who looks pretty good as a, as a middle reliever out of 340. He's touching like 96 on the gun. Who's Kenta May? I think he is. Josh Donaldson, 20 out of 50. I Because I, cause I don't know. You can add it up. Mark McGuire, Ryan Braun. I don't worry about prices, Josh York. I just worry about selling these cases. There's Drew Pomerantz, Jersey Auto, 31 out of 75. I do this for the love of the game, man. 
I don't sit here calculating margins and prices. I don't I don't list the products anyway. Nick does. He he's got a better knowledge of that anyway. Two out of eighteen, Alex Bregman, USA. Uh, email us, Josh York. We'll get you a price on that. Derek Jeter, Yankees. Alex Rodriguez, 10 out of 27. That's Rangers edition of Alex Rodriguez. Look how young he looks. Will Myers, Mike Trout. Freddie Freeman reveals. Oh, there's the other one. Triple Threads Autograph Relic Combo Card. That's the other case hit. Jose Altuve, Jeff Bagwell, Craig Biggio. Nice. I don't, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a parallel on it. I'm not sure what that's numbered to. Let's see. ARC BBA. I think they're, they start at, out of 36. So number 36. Nice, that's pretty solid. Although I feel I feel like Lance Berkman of the Killer Bee is gonna get left out. Lance Berkman's like, come on, what about me? What am I chopped liver? I was part of the Killer Bees first. Oh, two ways, not even a bee. <laughs> Joe P says nice first, but then doesn't like the out of thirty six. Out of thirty six, pretty it's, it's pretty low. It's pretty low. They can't all be one of ones, Joe P. All right. Oh, printing plate down. Is that autograph printing plate? Maybe. It's on the bottom. Oh, uh, no. Maybe it's not. It's not. Fake news. I saw some fun trivia today. What was the only... Who was the only player... I saw this on MLB Network today. The only player who played for the Dodgers, the Cubs, the Astros, and Yankees, like the four remaining teams, four remaining playoff teams. Two players did it. Printing plate and a train whistle, Matt Carpenter. Mr. LT, again, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo! Out of fives and under. No looking on Google, no cheating. Out of 340, Yoannis Cespedes, Mets, unless you saw the episode that I was watching today, too. Hugh Darvish, Bo Jackson. We got Edwin Encarnacion. I don't think Luis Gonzalez ever played for the Yankees. 14 out of 27, Will Myers, or the Astros. Oh, he did play for the Astros a little bit. Two players. No, Luis Gonzalez, not one of them. And then we got Amir Garrett. Yeah, the four remaining playoff teams. There are two players in the history of baseball that have played for all four of the currently remaining playoff teams. Not not active, obviously, but two players. There's Yaz, to 250. No, no, no other guesses aside from Joe P? There's Beltre. And, whoa, a book. I didn't even notice that. There's Carlos Correa. Nice relic here. Nine out of nine. Hint. You want era for a hint. Uh, current. Like, everyone will remember these two players. Like, 90s. Early 2000s, probably. So, the book is, I think, one play. No, Deca Autograph Relic. Of one player. DECA autograph book, one player, single player. Team is in Queens, Mr. LT. It's a Metropolitan, and it's Noah Syndergaard. Nice. There he is, five out of five. Another train whistle for you, man. There's the 
five pieces here, five pieces there, and the Noah Syndergaard autograph right in the middle. Five out of five. Nice. There you go. Mr. LT, another train whistle all aboard. The Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Uh, I left the computer like that because I don't know if Gary's coming tomorrow or not. I think he is, yeah. I think he is, so yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, Sounds good, man. I'll Have a good weekend. You too, man. I'll see you all right See you, Vanessa. All right. Very nice. Uh, no, not Gary Sheffield. Not Gary Sheffield. That's pretty nice. That's nice, Mr. LT. I was, I was getting a little nervous on the inside. I was like, there's got to be like one big hit in here. That was a nice one. Man, you're right, though. We, I agree with you. What you said earlier in the evening, they're just, just the Yankees are just so hard to find. Like, the prominent Yankees. Jeter, Judge. I mean, it's so hard to find. So, yeah, not Gary Sheffield. Any other guesses before I reveal the answer? Another redemption back there. Machado out of 150. Let's play two out of 250. One of the players that played on all of the... Uh, Remaining playoff teams back in the day. One of the players is Jose Vizcaino. Jose Vizcaino. There's Nolan Arenado, 16 out of 36. The other player. The other player, not Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry. I don't think Daryl Strawberry ever played for the Astros. Or the Cubs. 21 out of 25, Reggie Jackson. Uh, no, not the Man of Steel. I will leave the redemption for last. Ah, good. See, Mr. Mr. LT likes showmanship as much as I do. There's Andrew McCutcheon out of 250. I don't think Ricky ever played for the Astros. Now, I got this information. I mean, maybe he did. I got this information from MLB uh, tonight. It was the pregame show. Amir Garrett is your jersey auto. 59 out of 99. So one of them's Vizcaino. And the other player, there's Corey Kluber. There's Manny Machado. Three out of 36. The other player is Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton. Was with the Yankees. Yep. Cubs, yep. Dodgers, yep. And I think Astros for like half a second. All right, there's Corey Kluber, the redemption. Drum roll, Josh Donaldson. What do we have? We have base rookies and future phenoms. Silver. Silver parallel. Hi ho, silver. I need a drum roll here. That's what I need. Jay? Not Aaron Judge. Not Derek Jeter. But Jay? You? Julio? It's got to be Julio. Julio? Jones? Urias. Julio Urias. Hot Dodger prospect Julio Urias. Base rookies. Future phenoms. Autograph relic card. Silver Parallel. There you go, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Mr. LT, thank you very much, sir, for getting in on this. Uh, that was um, that was a pretty nice uh, personal case that you knocked out there. This is technically pick your team number 10. Thanks, everybody. More on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.